to my YouTube channel. It's your own girl, Bukola Temini Bukola. To my old subscribers, thank you for coming back. And to the new ones, you are welcome. Ekabo, it's been a while. Yeah, I've been busy with projects, but now project is finished. Presentation is done and dusted. So we moved. <laughs> we moved now thank god for the success it's been a great journey of one year for me and <laughs> if you've been on my instagram page you would have seen where i was dancing and i was trying to just uh, enjoy myself to say dissertation is over <gasps> ms is not easy i beg i've left phd for those that want to continue we'll stop here for now yeah <laughs> but if holy spirit says sha anyway <laughs> Today I am um, in Bolton. I'm sure if you are not, you are not, you, you might not be used to this environment. I'm in Bolton, close to Manchester, with my friend, my very, 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 very good friend in Bolton. Her name is Funke. I'll be showing her in a few minutes, and um, she wants to just tell us about Bolton. We are just chit chat scene about boating everything you need to know about boating i used to talk about hull and so anytime i go to another environment i try to talk about that location so that is what i plan to do today so in case you are planning of coming to boating let's just just you about boating. Oh, so guys here is funke <laughs> mama funke of boating the one and only mommy elora <laughs> <laughs> okay so let's welcome funke action <laughs> <laughs> so introduce yourself to us, Funke. Uh, I'm Funke Adibite, wife of about Tunde Adibite, mother of some beautiful children, <laughs> both present and future. Yes, so yes, so we call it forth. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh okay i'm presently at the university of Bolton studying a master's in psychology i'm an educator I like yeah it. when it comes to education <laughs> leave it for Funke. Funke will start a book as a I went somewhere with Funke one year and I was like, oh God, Funke has started you. When it comes to education, she's really passionate about it. Yeah. And especially with children. Yeah, yeah. Preschool, a lot of special education. So yeah. Special so education. So I work with children with special needs, autism, Down syndrome and all. Yeah. So that's that's what I do basically. And I oh, okay. It. We are still coming back to that. So let's go to how is Bolton, University of Bolton generally. How is the school? How is the school fees? Is it flexible? How is the payment plan? to you as an african student how, how can you i don't say you should compare now but i'm coming from all and i know all is relatively cheap but also towards boating what do you think uh, i think so far my experience um at the invest of boating has been fantastic um, to be sincere um okay so i'll just start with the tuition so i think for my course i paid around ten thousand for fifty ish so but the what people have challenged the most with um as far as the tuition is concerned is initial deposit so for the um, for the university of Bolton, it's actually four thousand five hundred um, that's the initial deposit yes so it is a lot and many people feel like it's too much they would rather go for maybe two thousand to five but the advantage voting has is when you pay that deposit and you come in like when i came in the first three months nobody contacted me for school fees you know and there's no disturbance no, nothing and Thank you. when they eventually called me, I just told them, okay, I, I want to pay in this installment. And they're like, fine. So I was even the one that gave what I wanted to do. And those that came in January, they gave them plan. But the plan was so flexible up to the month of every month. So you can pay like maybe 500 pounds every month for like 10 months. So voting oh, really? is very flexible with tuition. And that's why I advise people, if you have your course and you get admission, it's a place to My experience studying there, it was also a good experience. You know, a lot of facilities are available. Um, if you don't have a laptop, they would go loan you one. Also, these lectures are very supportive. If you have problems, you can call them, you can approach them. I came late and you know they, they were willing to give me extension on all my submission dates. The, the, courses I, um, the lectures I missed were willing to cover up and do a kind of a cash class with me personally. Like, so they were that considerate. Wow. For me, it was actually very, cool. it has been a very great experience so far. Wow, that's cool. um, is, that? uh, you said the school fees is like 10000 Yeah, for my course. I know someone that paid a bit more and okay. I think some people also pay less. So it depends on the course. I was think. there like a discount? Yeah, so it was actually, I think, about 12450 Then there was a 
um two thousand discounts the because discount? I had a I think the discount now. I'm not sure if it was that way before, but now okay. what someone told me is it depends on your Great. first degree. Yeah. Oh, okay. So if you have a I had a two 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 one, okay. so I got a two thousand discount. I think if it's a two two you get a thousand discount. Oh, okay, like that. Yeah. okay. If you have if you have a first class, so you're not sure of how much. I think that's about three thousand discounts. Oh that's cool. So all the few ways first class you have more discounts so yeah. just check through the school sites yeah all the information is actually there yeah. so you can get discounts so sometimes you don't need to look at the school fees first look at the first school fees yes yeah. but also look at some discounts then there are also some scholarship i think so yeah, most schools have scholarship yeah, so you need to really check through to know I'm which one uh, because yeah. I, for university of all i know ai and data science have uh, ten thousand scholarship for females so just check through the school you need to check through the website and keep digging and digging in yeah. so another question i would be asking is um um upon arrival into boating how did you find accommodation as a family how was it how did you sort it okay and that was kind of a tough one mm -hmm. um so when we came we actually had an agreement to stay with someone but things didn't work out and you know we had to just start calling around. We came during COVID, so I'm sure it, it might yeah. not be as difficult now. So we needed to quarantine for 10 days and you can't go anywhere. So that was another story. But when we eventually, when this quarantine got over, it took me, um, and my, my, it took us about um, a month to get a place. So we had somewhere we were staying and, well, the place was quite comfortable and they were very nice. person that wanted us, she's shut out to her. Yeah, we use Shout out to all those people that accommodate. Also, I've been helping people. It <laughs> makes a lot of difference. Seriously, Thank you. God bless seriously. You. Anyways, um, so they helped us. So it made us relax and we're able to like look for a decent place to stay. We got a two bed. Um, I pay about six fifty pound per month, which is not bad. A very fantastic location. My daughter's school is not far away. Malls are close by. Two school bedroom is not far away for six fifty. Yeah. And it's quite spacious. I mean, you've seen it. In Bolton, seriously. Yeah, so, I'm here. This and is the good the thing about Bolton is, so from here, for instance, I'm in Farnworth. There's a straight bus to Manchester. There's a, So anywhere you're going, it's actually very accessible. So that makes it a good location. And so close to Manchester. I mean, yeah. how, how many minutes? It's or some how? minutes drive. Maybe 30 minutes maximum. Oh, maximum. so you're close yeah, to the Depending town. on where in Manchester you're going. Okay, yeah. so Manchester, Bolton is very close to Manchester. Yeah, so is. you really enjoy So there's even yourself. a straight bus oh, from here. Oh, oh that's Pay cool. about maybe two pound, three pound, and you're, you're, you're getting to Manchester. So. Oh, that's so those are the advantages of. So it's not a bad location, and I mean I love the house. I love the location. I love the house. It's even finer than our all all house. <laughs> anyway, Sha, all is in the. It's not village, Sha. Anyway, it's don't stay. Don't before they will start staying. All oh, is not a village. Yo, Sundala people will not come for me again. Sundala, <laughs> don't make <laughs> It's a village. I've been there. <laughs> Let's no, no, this is an advanced village. Advanced village, oh da. Yeah, so <laughs> I also want to ask about getting jobs for students um, in boating. Uh, like, how was it easy for you to get a job as a student part time um, job and like? I think it's actually pretty easy to. Like I said, it's close to Manchester. Manchester is a city. They need people to work. So, I know all people I knew that came in. They didn't necessarily struggle. And most people that I know that are doing care jobs, they are even full time staffs. At least I know like three, four people that are working full time. Like not doing beyond their hours, but they are not just working with an agency. That's what I'm trying to say now. They so they are working home. in care home and they are full employ um, employees of those care home. There. Yeah. So they are full employees. They are working part time, but they are employees. They are not just on contract basis. So okay. they get their leave. They get all those other small small benefits that oh, yeah okay. so for me when i came i didn't want to do a care job like i said i'm an ed educator i have a master's degree already from uni lag in education and i've been working in education my life so i knew i could get a job in education but because i need to do some verification when i got a dbs and all those things so it took a bit longer for me to get a job and i was not very keen on getting a job when i came home i was trying to set you into class and do that you know? so you got when it's not just you mm -hmm. It's a bit easier for you to shack up, so I mm. did a course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> so but I got the job eventually. I, I'm working, I work with lots of um, um, schools here, and I mean, the job is good. How did you get the job? Yeah, it's just online, really. I just posted my CV online. I still get people contacting me till tomorrow, just that I'm not ready to pick up more responsibilities for now, more rules. So that's the only reason I've not even started so a full-time job. Yeah, yeah, you teach nursery school. Yeah, I work with nursery schools. Oh, okay. Yeah, so so getting a job is actually not, it's not difficult here. Yeah. So I have people, actually for care job, new course has a lot of 
um, care Kills, who they walk yeah. around with, and yeah. their pay is because very good. Are every, they yeah, are everywhere. They're in so, court, so yeah, and their pay is good. I have another friend that is also working under care home. So, but most of them they say it was actually quite easy for them when you come it may take a few weeks because you have to do the dbs check and all but once those checks are done yeah i explained dbs in my yeah. old video disclosure barren check yeah that the Just disclosure check, barren you know. service dbs so i i did i gave the link in my whole video i might have to add it again here so that you can check but it's most time the company that will do it yeah, for they you will do. Even so not, for most companies even profit. if you have it they still want to kind of do a check on yeah own. just to be just sure to be okay so i think we are fine with boating invest your boating yeah boating is a nice place oh. i love it and even when i'm i'm done yeah but i don't think i'm leaving boating I, you see i think i'm in love with boating these people that are in boating they don't want to leave just like we that we are in home we don't want to leave and yeah, people are thinking you're not get that Accommodation. <laughs> okay, <laughs> maybe I'm thinking of moving to Manchester very Please soon. Come, come. I <laughs> think you don't have to travel hours before we see one All right, now. <laughs> thank you for care. Thank you so yeah, much for coming pleasure. to the channel. We really appreciate you. We love you. Even the colors, the even the colors <laughs> like practically drag me. I've been running for I drag that. Yeah. I'm camera shy. Oh, shy. <laughs> just <laughs> so, guys, we have come to the end of this video. This video was just a short one, and I needed to do it just to um help people that are planning to come to boating so it's not all about university of holland but very very soon i'm planning to be showcasing as many schools i can i can so just to help people and um help them see another side of uk so um i, I hope this helps somebody so see you guys in my next video but please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like just don't forget to comment and share i and remember i also have a telegram group bukola uk connect the link is in the description button you can also join that group to help you ask question if you need to in the group there are a lot of information that i already dropped so you can always check them out thank you guys thank you guys for watching see you guys in my next video bye